the student in the chapter new chapter before the starting new chapters uh, last lecture of acid base and salts today we will discuss about the ph and role of ph in everyday life so a question arises here how is ph measured how is ph measured dear student ph is measured with the help of ph paper how to ph measured ph measured by the help of ph paper what is the ph paper dear student ph paper give a particular color ph paper give the particular color with a solution of particular ph okay students again ph paper give a particular color with a solution of particular ph now discuss role of ph in everyday life role of ph in everyday life the first role in our digestive system in our digestive system dear student the food which you eat it is digest in our stomach due to a acid an acid that is hydrochloric acid dear student the hydrochloric acid that is hcl produced in our stomach hcl produced in our stomach help the digestion of the food without any harm to the stomach hcl is formed in our stomach it help to digestion to digest the food without any bad effect on our stomach but this bit but when when amount of acid goes to beyond certain limit due to indigestion due to indigestion the amount of acid which secrete by the walls of the stomach dear student the wall of stomach secrete a digestive juice that is hydrochloric acid but when the excess amount of which when excess amount of hydrochloric acid or digestive juice secreted secrete then then pain and irritation the reason to secrete the excess amount of digestive juice or hydrochloric acid by wall of the stomach it is due to due to indigestion indigestion of food dear student due to indigestion of food the amount of digestive juice or hydrochloric acid secrete excess in amount this causes pain and irritations are created in the stomach okay so in the order to neutralize neutralizations use mild base for the relief the pain of stomach for the relief of pain of stomach for the control the ph which is decrease when excess amount of acid secrete from the wall of the stomach then the ph of your stomach is decreases and become more and more acidic the stomach the stomach may become more and more acidic the acidity of a stomach is maintained neutralized by using mild base just went 
Here the bio base like magnesium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide that is MgOH twice. The formula magnesium hydroxide MgOH twice. Dear student, magnesium hydroxide is also known as milk of magnesium. Milk of magnesium and second mild base that is aluminium hydroxide. The formula of aluminium hydroxide, the formula of aluminium hydroxide is ALOH thrice. Is the formula of aluminium hydroxide are used as a antacid. Are used as a antacid to decrease the to decrease the acidity and increase the pH of our stomach and control the pain and irritations of the stomach. Okay, we use antacid as a like milk of magnesium that is magnesium hydroxide. The formula of magnesium hydroxide that is MgOH twice and aluminium hydroxide. The formula of aluminium hydroxide is ALOH twice. Is the formula of aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide is used as the mild base, which is known as antacid. It decreases the acidity of the stomach and increase the pH of the stomach. Okay, decrease the acidity of the stomach and increase the pH of the stomach and and control the pain and irritations of the stomach. Okay, student. So always remember that when the pain or irritation is created in your stomach, then you understand it is due to excess excess secretions of digestive juice that is SCL. It controlled by the using magnesium hydroxide or aluminium hydroxide type in acid. Okay, student. Now let's discuss. Acid cause tooth decay. Just went your tooth enamels decay due to due to acids present in the mouth. Dear student, we eat sugar food like chocolate and other sweets. Dear student, these sugars gets degraded by degraded by some bacteria present in the mouth and this bacteria increase the acid formation increase the acid formation it means when amount of acid increase in your mouth then the pH of the mouth decreases and normal the pH of mouth is 5.5 but due to degradation of sweet sugary substance and formation of SH the pH of mouth became lower than 5.5 and due to this tooth in MS gates growth to prevent your prevent to decay your teeth tooth in MS Dear student, the excess of acid can be removed only by the use of toothpaste. This is decrease the amount of acid decrease in your mouth by using toothpaste. Why toothpaste? Because toothpaste contain alkaline, contain alkaline, or you also use neem stick because the neem stick contain alkaline juice. So you have the option to use toothpaste or neem stick to decrease the pH. Sorry, decrease the acidity of your mouth and increase the pH, which is decreased due to formation of acid. Okay, student. Now discuss here some and dear students, some animals and plant contain the acid. Are you know that honey bee? When honey bee Sting, sting you. This is cause pain and irritations. Are you right? Honey bee inject an acid through its sting. That is because 
हनी बी इंजेक्ट एसिड थ्रू इट्स स्ट्रिंग वेन हनी बी स्ट्रिंग इट इंजेक्ट सम एसिड इन योर बॉडी विच कॉज पेन एंड इरिटेशन डे स्टूडेंट यू नो दैट द एसिड न्यूट्रलाइज बाई यूजिंग बेस सो यू यूज टू ट्रीट द स्टेन स्टेन बाय द हनी बी the uh, due to this pain and irritation is controlled by using mild base mild base the example of mild base here baking soda baking soda baking soda means nahco3 that is hyd sodium hydrogen carbonate are used for the treatment of treatment of sting of the honey bee okay student now discuss here a plant a nettle is a sting plant nettle is a sting plant which when we touch when we touches it hairs you observe nettle plant a uh, nettle have the hairs when you touch its hair a painful effect for the painful effect are created for the treatment of this for the treatment of this the rough duck plant on the affected area it is because duck plant contain alkaline so dear students i think you understand about the ph role of ph in our daily life everyday life and how to control the ph in our daily life dear student please read your uh, ncert book chapter acid bases and salts and solve the questions given in this chapter okay uh, tomorrow we will discuss next chapter thank you very much